I'm Hattie Braun, and I'm the Master Gardener Program Coordinator for Coconino Cooperative Extension. I'd like to introduce a new program to you called Weed of the Week. Each week, we'll introduce a new weedy or invasive plant that's a problem in Coconino County. This week, we're going to talk about cheatgrass. Cheatgrass is a winter annual that's native to the Mediterranean region. It was first seen in the United States in the late 1800s. Now it covers hundreds of millions of acres, particularly in the western part of the United States. It is also a problem in Coconino County. A winter annual, like cheatgrass, is a plant that germinates in late fall or early winter and then is dormant in the wintertime and starts growing early in the spring. That's one of the reasons why cheatgrass is a big problem because it starts growing before many native plants get going in the springtime. Cheatgrass can be identified by this nodding head. It also has a purplish stem, so those are two things that you can look for to identify it. It is an annual, and as an annual, it has a very small root system. So when you're pulling grass and you think it might be cheatgrass, when you see this small root system, that's an indication that it is an annual. One of the problems with cheatgrass is that it dries out very quickly in the springtime, and this is what it looks like when it dries out. And you can see how that could really create a risk for wildfire. Make sure when you're pulling cheatgrass that you bag it and dispose of it properly. We don't want to leave any seeds um, on the stems on the ground because those seeds might mature and create a bigger problem. Cheatgrass seeds last between two to five years in the soil and so if you can hand pull for a couple of years you can get a handle on your cheatgrass problem. For larger areas you might want to think about using a mulch. A heavy layer of organic mulch will not only help your soil but it can help to smother out cheatgrass plants. You can also use a, a weed fabric cloth but weed fabric doesn't do much to help um, improve your soil. Like many invasive plants cheatgrass takes advantage of soil that has been disturbed. If those solutions aren't going to work for you, you might have to consider using an herbicide. An herbicide that doesn't have effect on growing plants is a pre-emergent herbicide. And you could lay that herbicide down and, and it will affect any uh, cheatgrass seeds that are starting to germinate. Unfortunately, it will also affect other plants, including the seeds from native plants that are trying to germinate. You can also spot treat with a contact or a systemic herbicide. For more information about cheatgrass and its management and other weedy and invasive plants, visit our County Extension website.